Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am Beauty by Lenoria across all of my social media platforms. If you would go ahead and thumbs up this video, go ahead and share it amongst your family and friends, and of course go ahead and get a conversation started with me in the comment section below. But as you guessed by today's title, we are coming to you with a quick makeup haul. And a lot of these items are items that, you know, I have had my eye on and I just waited I don't know why. I just waited for a while before I actually pulled the trigger and actually checked out with the items in my cart. But if you're ready to go ahead and see today's haul, just keep watching. You're my bitter one taking me home. For one thing really do one. Okay, so the first part of today's haul is coming in from Elf Cosmetics. And with Elf Cosmetics, the reason, the two main reasons why I actually went ahead and placed this purchase is going to be for the first two items. The first item was for their Poreless Putty Primer, the N Universal Sheer. This is supposed to be the Tatcha Dupe. And we'll go ahead and try it out and see how that actually works. I know I did not like the Tatcha Skin Primer. This right here, for some odd reason, I keep getting travel size samples of these with my Sephora order. So I have like four of these by now. I had the large size and I took it back. I just wasn't here for it. But it's still canvas. For some odd reason, they keep sending me these. And I'm like, for me, it's not that it's not a good primer. It's just for $52, it just wasn't worth it for me. I'd much rather use my Josie Marin um, Argan Oil, the primer that she has. Or I would rather go ahead and use my J1 jelly pack so yeah that was just out of my budget for something that just didn't work wonders for my skin the next thing that i got in of course was the elf 16 hour camo concealer and i went ahead and got mine in the shade medium sand and the colors on the website were so off and crazy it wasn't even funny but the thing that I liked about this primer, about this, um, I'm sorry, about this actual concealer is that it dries really fast and it doesn't budge. I've already played in it and used it. And although you're looking like, Lynn, where is your melanin infused behind going with a concealer that light? It actually is one that I use on top of my concealers. Typically like my ColourPop concealer. Typically, I'll go in and I'll use a concealer that is my my skin tone shade, and I'll use that to light it up. So, for concealers that just blend in too well with my actual foundation and complexion, I'll use that camo color from Elf to go ahead and lighten it up. It really is a great concealer, so I'm thinking of getting the olive one they have with my next order. I don't know, but I will keep you guys up to date if I decide to order the next one. And the next thing that I went ahead and got is another Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. Again, I told you guys that when it comes to setting my eyebrows in place, my favorite, favorite product to use is always going to be this right here. Um, I couldn't even wait because I was out, so I had already ripped and opened the package up. But this is it right here. It's the Clear Mascara on one end and the Eyebrow Gel on another. And pretty much it both is the same. So I use either end to go in and set my eyebrows. It's just $2 and it sets flawlessly throughout my day. The problem that I have with a lot of my makeup products is when I used to work in a call center, I would always go in for overtime. So I always work 12 hour shifts. So I would always go in from like 4 p.m. and my shift ended at 6 a.m. And it was like a little break in between when my overtime ended and my shift began. And I just sat around work versus driving back home and driving back. So typically, I'm doing my makeup and getting dressed maybe like an hour or two before I actually get to work. So any and all products that I had had to last me for like 12 to 16 hours. Anything that didn't last that long, I didn't even waste my time or money with. And this just became a holy grail staple. It doesn't fudge it doesn't move it keeps my eyebrows in place i don't have any problem with my eyebrows like they sell them at walmart target any place that elf is still sold cvs walgreens right eight you'll always see this for two dollars i promise you if you pick it up and you use either end to go ahead and set your brows 
you'll never go back to Anastasia Beverly Hills, to ColourPop, all of these other um, benefit brow. Yeah. <laughs> Save your money where you can in reference to your actual makeup. And the next thing that I actually purchased, I was watching that girl Shay. She was doing an e.l.f. PR unboxing that she had, and she actually had this on last month. It's just a black e.l.f. beanie. And when I say I thought it was so cute to actually just, you know, put on and just wear out, like, I, I honest to God, just thought it was just the cutest thing. So I went ahead and picked up the e.l.f. beanie. And um, with the purchase, e.l.f. went ahead and sent out two free products. They sent out their baked eyeshadow palette in California. I'm not a fan of their baked eyeshadow formulas. Um, I'm not really, I haven't actually bought one in like three or four years, so maybe this one is different. So I'll go ahead and give that a try. And they also went ahead and sent out these free eyeshadow applicators. Now, these eyeshadow applicators, the one thing that I do use them for, the one thing that I really do like with them is I'll use them to go in and sometimes smudge right here underneath my um, waterline my lower lid area right here with the shadows that I'm putting on or if I'm cleaning up eyeliner and different things I'll use this to just dip it in I'll use this and I'll just dip the tip of it into some micellar water and I'll just use that to go ahead and just clean up before I go in and put on my foundation and concealer so these really do come in handy when you get them in packets so you don't have to throw them away you can keep them you can use them to apply different lipsticks if you're doing an ombre lip, you can actually use this to go ahead and feather it in perfectly. So these do come in handy. So I'm happy that they sent that because I will definitely be using that. The next thing that we got in is gonna be from P. Louise. I've been sitting here going back and forth, back and forth, just like, oh, do I really wanna order this eyeshadow base? It's like $10, hold on, let me look at my receipt. Yeah, it's ten dollars, but with shipping and handling, it came to a little bit over twenty dollars for just an eyeshadow base. And I was like, well, you know, my Mac paint pots—they're around the same price, and this one is supposed to be amazing. So after seeing all the beauty gurus here on YouTube use it, I went ahead and bit the bullet. I like for my bases to be a whole lot brighter than my actual skin complexion, so my eyeshadows actually pop. So I went ahead and picked up Rumor One, but here is the base. And I went ahead and picked up the shade Rumor One. And I did go ahead and try this last night. I actually tried this with my um, KK palette from K.O.R. Cosmetics, which is by Keisha K.O.R. That's what you see on my eyes right now. And I use this as a base. And when I tell you, yeah, I don't know why I waited so long, but I'm happy that I got this. If you are able to catch any sales that they're doing or if you're on the fence, what I will tell you is this works totally different than a paint pot by MAC. It works totally different than putting concealer on your lids and not setting that with the translucent powder and actually just using this. This just grips and grabs your eyeshadows. It doesn't actually change the color of your eyeshadow. Sometimes when you're using like concealer and you go in with certain shades with um, eyeshadows on top of a wet base, it can deepen the colors or ch completely change the colors. This didn't deepen the color, this didn't change the color. It gave it true um, vibrancy, exactly what I saw in the actual palette is exactly what showed up on my eyes. And it blended out like a dream. So this, this is a go. Definitely go ahead and get this. The next thing that I got in is going to be one of those FOMO things. I waited too long to get it on Sephora and it was sold out. I waited too long to get it on Beautylish and it was sold out. So I went ahead and went to the Cover FX website. They were doing a 20% discount and I was able to go ahead and grab their new primer. This is the new gripping primer from Cover FX. And I haven't had a chance to really play in this yet. It's literally been sitting in the box since I actually got it. But I do plan on using this at some point in time this week just to kind of see, does this grip my foundation better than the J1 Jelly Pack? Because the J1 Jelly Pack, as far as a gripping primer, is my holy grail. So if this actually works just as well or the same as my J1 Jelly Pack, then I'll start to continuously buy this because the J1 Jelly Pack is pretty pricey. 
and this was a whole lot cheaper even without the discount it was still a whole lot cheaper so i'm really happy that i had the opportunity to get this so i can go ahead and try it out so i'll be able to let you guys know of my favorites whether or not this is something that you should add to your shopping list as well and the last thing that came in that i want to go ahead and talk about is coming in from peachy queen cosmetics i've been seeing both of these palettes for about four months now and i have had my eye on them i've had the tab open on my phone for yeah, four months now and they always send out coupon codes and discounts but finally they just sent out um two weeks ago they sent out a 20 percent code or was it a 30 percent code I think it was a 30% code. It was um, pre-Valentine's Day. And I was like, let me go ahead and get that. So they become such so much more affordable. But the first palette that I got in is their Pumpkin Spice Palette from Peachy Queen. And let's go ahead and open it up so I can show you guys. I will tell you while I'm struggling to open this, that when I got them, they did have a strong smell when I opened it. And I'm not sure if that was the glue they used to glue the pans down or the cardboard and the packaging. But all I did was when I first got it, I left it open for two days. And that smell has gone and dissipated. So that smell isn't there anymore. Here is the actual palette. And here is the inside of the palette. And I'll go ahead and give this a swatch. Now, I will say that this palette right here is a very pretty pig, a very pretty palette. It is pigmented. It is going to be very soft and blendable. I have already played in it. And I will say this one was a really great bang for your money. But there is a problem with the palettes that I'm about to show you guys. And this is one of my pet peeves when it comes to getting multiple palettes from the same brand, but I'm gonna show you in just a moment. The next palette I got is going to be the Kush Queen palette. Their packaging is absolutely beautiful. I'm not necessarily thrilled to have a palette covered in weed, but you know, um, it's just eyeshadow, right? But their unicorn is so hard to slide in and out, but here's the front of this one. And let's go ahead and show you the inside. And you know, the funny thing about these palettes, I'm guessing that this palette was an older palette and this one was released after. This palette had to have been released after this one. So I'm thinking this was one of the first ones and this one was part of an addition, uh, an expand out to the actual eyeshadow collection. Again, I love both of the palettes. They both are beautiful. We'll go ahead and smosh these for you. Just so you can see some of the actual shades. They are beautiful. And of course, if you go back in and double swap some of those shades and just go over it to deepen it up, that lets you know that they're pretty buildable. So they are very pretty. There isn't any complaints or anything there from them being anything besides them being pretty pretty. But while I have the lights turned down low, I want to go ahead and show you guys something that I noticed when I got both of the palettes. They have a duplicate shade. So in the palette, I have two yellows. See that? It's a yellow in, in this one, and it's a yellow in this one. And then they are the exact same yellow. Exact same yellow. I don't know if that was because this is just one of their most popular shades, or if this is a shade that they've heard feedback from their customers that they really love, so they put it in two palettes that came out back to back. I'm not really sure if that was an oversight, but I hate when that actually happens. You know, kind of like getting Anastasia eyeshadow palettes. If you got one Anastasia eyeshadow palette, then you got the same shade, kind of repeated, same three or four shades repeated throughout each one of the palettes. I kind of hate that, but that is what we got in from Peachy Queen. Okay guys, so if you made it to this part of the video, this is the end of the haul. This is just going to be a quick rundown bringing you some new items that are out that you may want to actually go ahead and pick up and have a look at. But I will go ahead and follow up with you guys in my favorites video and let you know how they actually perform. So this way before you pull the trigger, you'll know whether or not it's something you can go ahead and spend your money on. A girl by go ahead and save those coins. <laughs>
And again, I am Beauty by Lenoria. Thank you so much for coming and spending time with me. You already know. I don't care when you're watching me, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, late at night. <laughs> when you sit in the back of the church, you know, who am I to judge? <laughs> I'm just happy that you came and spent some time with me. And as always, thank you so much, YouTube. And until next time, I'll see you.